Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American and Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Scotland, to be better better said, I'm at Glen Mori. Glen Mori, 25 year old single malt Scotch whiskey from Old Particular, better said, Douglas Lang. So this is Douglas Lang's Refill Hogshead Cast number DL11831. 247 bottles in total. Whiskey base number 105324. 155 euros, so about $200, maybe 185 if you're very, very lucky. This was actually distilled in October of 1991. What were you doing? I was in my fifth semester um, of studying, and this was actually bottled in June of 2017. I don't remember what I was doing in June 2017. I was probably doing exams at the university or correcting exams, looking forward to my vacation in Macedonia, I think was where we went in 2000 and we were there in May of 2017. So this was given to me as a, as a present or as a gift. Now I think, and I'm not really sure who gave it to me, they, this was a guy who said, hey Jason, I don't want to interview with may I offer you a whiskey? And he said, hey, what about this? I was like, ooh, 25 year old and Glen Mori, yay. I was actually at the distillery in March of 2019. And what better to do than to compare this to a hand fill? This is the Glen Mori 2001 hand fill with 47.8%. So this is a total of 18 years old. This is 25 years old with 51.5%. 33.5% 30, usually goes into the barrel, um, which means over the last 25 years, less than 0.5% alcohol by volume angel share. Good cast management, I must admit. Well done. So um, hogshead is also something we don't really use anymore, or we do use, but not as much as we used to. Way back when, 25 years ago, they would put the, um, they'd disassemble the barrels in the United States, the bourbon barrels, put them into a container, take them over to Scotland, then reassemble them. They would basically take the staves of five different barrels, new um, um, lids or hog or the heads to the barrels, and they would take out of the five, they'd make four hogsheads, so a little bit bigger instead of the normal 200 liter, maybe more about 230, 235 liter barrels. Now, um, we don't do that that often anymore. Why not? Because transportation has become so cheap, has become so cheap that they don't do this. So what they do is they put on a pallet four of the barrels and they put uh, maybe eight of the barrels and they put them um, basically into a container. So basically about 40 barrels I think you can get into container at about a thousand dollars per container. You're looking at a price um, of $25 per barrel on top. Now if you actually make the barrel by hand you're going to pay more than if you just use the bourbon barrels. And that's why you're going to see less and less hogsheads out there in the next 20, 30, 40 years. But back then, in 1991, they still used a lot of hogsheads. And maybe we should be grateful for that. Let's try the difference here in the, on the nose. Creamy, silky, vanilla. If I didn't know better, I would have said this is an old grain. And this is a little bit of my problem I'm having at the moment. I'm getting some excellent, excellent whiskey samples. How often do you get to try 25-year-old scotch? Um, and to be very honest, it's just not as distinctive as a cherry bomb, as a peat bomb. This is very delicate, and I like it, but it's not, in my opinion, worth the extra price. 150 euros, 180, uh, $200 for a bottle of whiskey. Yes, it's 25 years old, but if I, I could give you a 12-year-old whiskey or a 14-year-old whiskey from Oben or Kleinlich, and I would go, oh, I like that better. And this is a little bit of my problem that I'm having with these excellent old whiskeys.
Now the hand fill is an explosion of flavor. It's, it's just two different beasts here. This is delicate, this is soft, this is really smooth. And what I have the feeling is they took this bottle, this barrel especially, out of the, out of the, um, the, the, the warehouse, the dun, dungeon, 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 <laughs> dungeon. They took it out of the dungeon, exactly. <gasps> um, <laughs> dunnage, warehouse. And um, they put it up in the the gift shop for the uh, for the guests to actually pour. Good stuff, good stuff. Very very spicy. A lot going on. A lot of fruit in there. A lot of spice in there. A lot of wood in there. And the alcohol is not really that evident. So let's try the Glen Mori 25 year old. By the way, if you ever go to the uh, distillery, a great place to go. In Elgin, if you're there anyways, that's um, the, the heart of Speyside would be Dufton. And you go up to the coast and you have Elgin there. You actually have um, Gordon and um, G and M. Gordon and McDonald. And they have their uh, store in Elgin. And you go through a little bit of a residential area. You go down the hill and suddenly you're in this distillery. And if you have Jo, which I really liked um, her as my tour guide, she is studying to become a master distiller blender. And she has a lot of information about the entire process. Glen Mori is um, a state-of-the-art distillery. They build a whole new still house just with their spirit stills. So you have actually your wash stills here and your spirit stills here. Yeah, so let's go to the whiskey. Um, I know uh, one fifty one point five percent. It's that creamy old wood, old bourbon vanilla moment, but not much from the distillery. Not much distillery ca character is evident. Hmm. Nice. Grapes, white grapes, white currants, um, a little bit of honey melon, very light fruitiness. Um, maybe a little bit of star fruit, maybe a little bit of lychee. Yes, exactly. Lychee is what I'm getting. Um, nice, nice, nice um, summer whiskey. You're out on the deck, you're out on your terrace, you pour this whiskey and you look at the stars and you just enjoy life. But... I don't really feel the 25 years old. I don't feel uh, the 155 euro price tag of this whiskey. This is a nice whiskey without any doubt, but there's no wow moment here. I, when I have a almost $200 whiskey, 150 some euros, I expect wow. I have a 25 year old whiskey, I expect wow. Um, this just isn't giving me that wow moment. Now you could say, hey, Jason, tell me another 25 year old whiskey for that price. And I go, well, you might be right, but still, um, I want wow for that money. I want wow for that age. I'm just not getting this. All right, going over here to the hand fill, watch my face. Mmm, mmm, wow. <laughs> this is a powerhouse of flavor. It would take me t 10 minutes to dissect all the different levels here. Mmm, very good. I get a little bit of soapy moment as well in there, which I'm not overly joyous about. But all the other flavors I get in here are just overwhelmingly fantastic. In comparison to that, over here in my 25-year-old Glenmore. 1991 to 2007, 17, I'm sorry. It almost made it to the 16 year, 26 year old mark. It's nice. It's got all those, as I said, lychee, white currant, white grapes, very, very light, very, very bright. Very, very soft, but 
I'm sorry, there's no wow. I'm repeating myself, I know. All right, so I'm going to give this a um, C plus. <laughs> Value for money, D minus. Um, Old Particular and Douglas Lang in particular, I don't think it's their fault. They might have actually bought one of the best 25-year-old Glenn Mori casts out there. But, um... It's just not, and that's what I'm, it's not, it's not what I'm looking for at the moment. I'm sorry. Um, the hand fill, if you go to Glenmorey, if you go to any distillery and you have the opportunity to get hand fills, and I would say there's a, the once again, there's a handful of distilleries where the handfuls are particularly good. And um, Tobermore is one of them. Legic, Legic, Le 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 Legic as well as Glen Mori. Their hand fills are much better than anything you can buy on the market. Um, Bruchladi, the same thing, and so on. There's the cage there, I think. And the Springbank has the cage, don't they? Where you have to wait hours to get in, you get to have a bottle of that, oh yeah, and so on. Um, very, very, very nice. So, um, my question of the day is very simple. What whiskeys have you had that are 25 years old? And which whiskeys do you know about and or that are 25 years old? I know there's a Bunahabin 25 year old out there. It's supposed to be very, very nice. I had the opp opportunity to pick up a, um, a bottle over here for 325 euros. I didn't do it. I went home and found out the normal price is 400 euros. I was like, should have bought it. <clears throat> but that's the way it is sometimes. All right, so what 25 year old whiskey can you highly recommend? I unfortunately cannot highly recommend the Glen Mori 25 year old from old, old particular. It's just kind of non eventful. It's nice, but it's not worth that money. Of course, if you want to show off and say, hey, look, I have a 25 year old bottle, and it's a fairly cheap price for 25 years old, by the way, then go for it. Why not? You won't be disappointed, but don't expect anything spectacular. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell others about this crazy American tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. If you ever have the chance, you can contact me at whiskeyjason, one word, at gmail.com. Otherwise, my videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.